you rejected Apple for Ericsson, but Ericsson is not a startup. Right now, you're working at a right. startup, and you again, you rejected Microsoft for this time a, an actual startup. Do you regret doing this? And you can say this? yes. Your your coworkers won't see this. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> do I regret? Seriously. <laughs> Two weeks ago, I polled you guys on whether you'd prefer an interview with someone who works at a big company or a startup. It was pretty close, so I decided to start with the startup. So for today's video, I'm interviewing my friend Sinchi. He's a graduating mechanical engineer student, but he works in software and hardware development. You already saw the video title, so let's get right into it. I put all the topics we talk about right below, so you can skip around, enjoy the video, don't forget to like, comment, and 60% of you guys are not subscribed, please sub subscribe. All right, watch this guys. Look at this background, all right? All right, we got the campfire in the background. So this is the first ever pan fire interview. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this <laughs> Put your cam up, Sinchi. All right, we're looking good. We're looking good. How was your day today, man? How was work? It was... How was work? Huh? Yes, as you may have noticed, this interview is kind of scuffed. It's from my Twitch live stream and it's my first time doing this. But don't worry, I condensed over one hour of interview content into 15 minutes. So there's no way this is bad. Just trust me and keep watching. <laughs> Answer the damn question. How are you doing? <laughs> Answer the question. Okay, okay. You start. Yeah, I'm good. I uh, had some problem with, uh, with my microcontrollers, but uh, now it's fixed. We'll get into what that is later, but yeah. my first question is, who are you? Uh, well, my name is Shin, and... Uh... Who the That's hell so are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude, you failed the interview, bro. How did you pass your Fang interview? <laughs> who are you, Zinchi? <laughs> My name's Shin and I'm 23 this year. Uh, I like coding as a hobby. And like that's kind of how I got into coding when I was young. But I mainly do like hardware development. Yeah. Let's get into the juice, the question of the day. Why did you reject Microsoft for a startup? I did I did like a, a thing with my uh, partner back in uh, CGEP or high school. And mm -hmm. uh, it was kind of um, like the beginning of a startup. Like throughout my uh, my university. I always had like this project in the back of my mind. I wanted to do. That was the best timing. If I don't do it now, I, I just might not ever do it again. Before we get into the specifics of your startup, I want to ask you about your background. So what about your previous uh, experience, the previous internships? So after I got into McGill, well, my first internship, like real internships, I did it at Ericsson as a software, uh, software developer. I was doing like 5G development, some core development 5G. And you pre you told me right for Ericsson you actually had another offer like what was that other offer oh yeah it was my Apple so first of all why did you refuse Apple for Ericsson mostly like the projects and mm -hmm. the, the the subject of the work was more intriguing to me at Apple it was uh, like an intern in a not very interesting position if I remember well it was uh, core core OS but at Ericsson it was like in a main team that did like the biggest project of the right. company which, which is Networking. 5G right yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're like one of the biggest 5G developer in, in the world. Yeah, and also I wanted to be in uh, in Shanghai. Which is pretty cool actually, because like you grew up here, you're Canadian, but yeah. you applied for like a, a like a Chinese uh, location. How was the pay there? Is it like much oh, lower? Oh yeah, the here? pay, yeah, the pay was, it was around like 6,500 RMB per month. 6.5K per month? Wait, exactly. how is it, what, how much is that per hour? 6.5K, uh, 40 times four, 160. Yes. Divide 600 to 40 RMB per day. Oh my God, you were getting scammed. No, 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 not, not 40 RMB per day, per hour. Oh, per hour, yes, yes, sorry. Yeah. My math sucks. Damn, that's like $8 per hour, yeah. dude. Was it worth it, the experience? Was the experience uh, worth it? Well, I, I wasn't doing it for the money, so I right, say right. for my personal growth, it was re really worth it. What about the work-life balance there? Personally, it was good. Okay, yeah. so you would like nine to five or technically it was nine to five, mm -hmm. but I was more doing like eleven to like four. Eleven to four. Okay, you were chilling, dude. What the hell? You weren't even working, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Wait, is, cool. Is that cool. good to say? Oh my. God. No, no, no. You good? You good? That's all yeah. of us. That's all of us. How were your teammates? Like they spoke English, Chinese. Yeah, uh, my teammates. They were like they were like me. They were like studying in the U.S. And one was like Italian. 
They all spoke oh. English. So, so some of them didn't speak uh, Chinese? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wow, that's pretty cool. You don't want to go back, right, to, to China to, to work there? <laughs> to work there? Probably not. <laughs> okay, so you rejected Apple for Ericsson, but Ericsson is not a startup. Right now, you're working at a right. startup, and you again, you rejected Microsoft for this time a, an actual startup, right? Do you regret doing this? And you can say this? yes, your, your coworkers won't see this. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> do i regret seriously <laughs> not one bit if you hesitated we know the answer next question what do you do what what the hell do you do at your work oh pretty much everything from from like meeting with investors to clean up the house we're three right now and one is really focused on the front end. The other one, Nicholas, uh, he's more focused on um, on like the back end, APIs, like AWS and all of that. And I, I do back end and uh, networking and um, hardware development, which is coding microcontrollers. Okay, wow. Okay, so you're not in the typical like software development world of like front end, back end. You're in like networking and hardware. Well, networking, I feel like is more niche than... Uh... But then like general web development, right? It's yeah. like, yeah, I feel like a lot of people hate it. Like, you know, do you like it? I, I like it when it works. <laughs> <laughs> That's like like if you, if you could software. choose one, you know, you, you, you have web dev. Okay. So front end, back end, DevOps, uh, networking, hardware, which one would you choose if they all had the same pay? Uh, I would choose hardware. Hardware, okay, okay. Yeah. But what if they don't have the same pay? What if software pays more? Would you pay? What if software pays more? Yeah. Well, I think I would still choose hard hardware. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. You're passionate, dude. Like, that's good, that's good. You're not like me, man. I'm just, nah. uh, yeah, okay. Let's not talk about that. So, um, what do you do? Like, what do you do specifically? Like, uh, at your job, like, you can give an example of a project you worked on during your current work. It's like a like a normal IoT stack. I'm doing sensors. IoT stands for Internet of Things. It describes objects which have software that connects them to the internet. So for example, when you tell Amazon Alexa to open the lights for you, that's an IoT device. So like what are you specifically trying to connect um, to like the internet? My startup, we do smart agriculture, right? Okay, so the context of what I'm doing right now is that we, it's based on the premise that um, we're, we're actually going to run into like a real food problem in the next like 30 years, both in affordability and availability, right? Like due to development, we, we, we're going to have like less and less like arable land. Arable land is land that you can grow agriculture on. People in the big cities, like due to poor like distribution of food, due to all of the reasons, food is going to get more expensive. Right. Basically, well, basically. What about Mars? Over what about yeah <laughs> i mean if we elon, musk, elon musk, says musk we're going, yeah, to, mars. We're going to reach mars by 2040 well you it's the same thing right even on mars you're not going to bring a bunch of people who helping you do the agriculture so you want a fully automated agriculture system right okay so your internet of things thing is about to increase the efficiency of agriculture basically so we're building a product where you have like sensors to cap like your um, growing settings like moisture and like water and uh, temperature and like soil content. And then we're creating like a, fr a, a, a network of these sensors connected to a hub. And wait, that wait, hub wait, like wait, a hold on. You're, you're building a network of what? Of sensors. Okay. What, what do yeah. these sensors sense? Um, specifications related to growth. Oh, okay. So they the sensors they can sense the crop. So they're like, oh, this yeah. like this corn is gonna grow up in five years, and the sensor is like beep 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 beep, and he knows like the corn is growing up, and like the weather is good, like that type of stuff. Long, yeah. Long story short, yes. Users can just look at their optimized farm at the at the specifications of these sensors, the data on uh, on the front end, well, on their dashboard. So like these sensors, they need a UI dashboard to interact with. So you're kind yeah. of building this dashboards such that they can interact with these sensors and you, you can like manage these sensors from that uh, dashboard that can be on your computer. Yeah, and not just sensors. We're like building like the, from the front end, the dashboard to the sensors to like the lights, the, the temperature, 
we're building like the whole stack, both in hardware and software. What's the startup's name? Uh, it's called the uh, Demeter AI. This well, looks really good. The, the, the dashboard is better, but... This looks like the Elon Musk solar panel shit. Um, yeah, that was like a generic picture. I see you guys are using Bootstrap. Yeah, so segue to the question, what is the tech stack you guys are using? Like from front end, back end, networking, everything. Our web app, we're, we're using React. The back end, we're basically hosting it on, uh, we're using AWS or with like EC2, Route 53, some DB database here and there on AWS and on Mongo. Recently, I'm working the most on um, coding this these microcontrollers and making it work. So, okay. so the sensors, coding the sensors so using, that's like uh, C? using C. Yeah, okay, okay. C. Is there anything like on the job currently that you didn't know before? Like you had to learn it on the job? Okay, for example, the, the whole IoT stack, right? You're going to have like a, a, a lot of sensors, right? Sending you a lot of data constantly. Mm -hmm. You got to figure out all the, which sensors come from which users and right. how to just handle these, these that amount of data. Uh, what, what technology you should use, what sort of database you should use, mm. um, you know, what, what what sort of like authentication you should use, encryptions. Right. You, you had to learn all of that. Like you didn't know how to do encryption, how to do like database, like all this stuff. Yeah, well, we know the, the basics of it from, from school. Okay. But, so so you uh, took, right, you have a computer science minor, right? Yeah. So yeah, you took some like database courses and like, what else? Yeah, basic algos, applied machine learning. Okay, so, so after yeah. learning like your basics from school, like basic SQL from databases, you know, basic data structures and algorithms, uh, the basics of like machine learning uh, theory, you were able on the job to just Google things and find out like which, uh, like how to use this certain database, how to use this tech, tech how to connect them together. That's yeah, like what you learn on the job. Okay. Yeah. And we, we had to ask like a bunch of people too, but yeah. Mm -hmm. And are your coworkers like more experienced than you? In different aspects. Yes, of course. How much but do you think the math you learn helps you like day to day in your program development stuff, engineering stuff that you do now as part of software development, hardware um, development? Like literal application, I would say none. Literal application, none? <laughs> yeah, none. Oh God, you guys better drop your classes now. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like, I mean, in different ways, like it, it developed like um, certain areas, areas of thinking in your, in your, like in your head, maybe in your subconscious, it, it would help. It helped. It helped. Um, yeah, I think it definitely like helps logically, uh, at least a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like lead coding. What's your pay uh, right now? Right now, startup, yeah. uh, Com compared to what Microsoft would have offered you. Well, compared to anything, my pay is zero <laughs> right now. Oh, your pay is zero? <laughs> yeah, my pay is zero. <laughs> no, equity, equity, right? Yeah, we, I get, well, we have equity, but uh, we don't have a salary yet. Uh, what would Microsoft would have paid you? It would be around like 35 per hour. Okay, so 35 Canadian, around 35 yeah. Canadian per hour and you refuse mm -hmm. that for zero per hour you are a true man of passion following your dreams congratulate Cla claps in the chat guys <laughs> some things you gotta do it now never what's your plan what's your ne your five-year plan you know or your what are you gonna do next my, my plan for the next two years at least is definitely gonna be in this startup so we're gonna apply for uh for ventures soon for some more incubators right and we'll see how that works out if it doesn't, then like we have other plans. I don't know if people say, oh, like, I don't believe in you. If no one believes in our idea, then. Uh... We believe in you here, Sinchi. We all <laughs> believe in you. 71 people here. We all believe in you. Just make sure to give us a 0.1% equity to all of us. Uh, but yes, uh, so your plan is to keep doing your startup for at least the next two years. So next two yeah. years, if it doesn't work, what's your plan? Then I'll, I'll I'll call you and I'm like, man, I need a job. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be homeless, bro. <laughs> uh, Favorite C compiler ID or C++? C plus C What? I'm kidding. <laughs> C I want to say Visual Studio Code, but uh, I know I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get roasted here. Yeah. That's what I use for everything. Oh, so do you ask how important is cybersecurity aspect of your line of work? Do you know anything about that? Yeah, well, we, we tried to, I feel like that's the hardest, like to make sure that mm -hmm. in your whole stack, there's no like leak that can be, that can be hacked into. Right? So how do you and, guys deal with that? Um, well, the thing about <laughs> yeah. leaking the security of his whole startup. <laughs> <laughs> 
here, here's, a, here's, here's my private key. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay, so maybe we can talk about that. <laughs> All right, so Sinchi, I think this is the end. Thank you so much for coming uh, and doing this interview. Uh, everyone, please give some hearts in the chat for Sinchi. And Sinchi, if you want to shout out your Instagram or anything, uh, go ahead. Sure. Uh, well, I appreciate it too, uh, Pan. And my IG is at Q-I-X-X-I-N. All right, I'll head out. Peace. Peace. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Um, if you made it this far, thank you. And I also wanted to thank you for something else really quickly. 100K subs, crazy. I can't believe this is happening. I dreamed of this when I was eight years old. And oh my God, you know, I, oh my God. Yeah, th I, I just, wow. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I, you know, I'm so grateful and I'll probably thank you again once I get that uh, silver play button. I'll, I'll put it right there. I'll put it right there. And um, 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 yeah, I'll keep making videos, live streaming, everything else. And... I'll see you around. Goodbye. Yeah, I wanted to ask what uh, legal question did you get during your interview? Um, reverse the linked list. No, I'm kidding. no, shut, shut up. <laughs> no way.